Well, thank you for having me. It is, uh, as we see it, an opportunity, if you will, to win in the turns. And winning in the turns to us means that in the straightaway, everybody can compete. But in the turns, the strongest really can thrive. And that's really what we're after at Dynatrace is finding a way to take our leadership position and extending that through the turns that we're seeing in the macro environment. Rick, uh, let's talk about what that means in practicality. I mean, corporates only have so much to spend. We're at a point in the cycle where margins are being hit. So companies are very keen to cost cut at this stage when take up uh, anything they can from the business. What does that mean in terms of your world? Are we seeing some of those business decisions changed or at least pushed out into the long grass when they think revenues and margins may just look a little different to what they look like today? Well, we continue to see very strong spending in the digital transformation space, and that results in significant increases in cloud spending. We need look no further than the hyperscaler spend from last quarter. You look at an AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, combination of them last quarter delivered $160 billion of annualized revenue, $40 billion in the quarter, growing at 35%. This is indicative of the aggressiveness with which organizations are moving the cloud. What we do is we provide observability capabilities to make those cloud environments work perfectly. And that's really what we're after. And we believe that there is spend that's being allocated to that with companies like BT, for example, that expects to save on the order of 28 million pounds over the coming years based on a recent release that they did by deploying Dynatrace. Um, Rick, market cap matters, uh, and as uh, as you've pointed out in your own notes, I think here, or your team has, um, your market cap halved in less than 12 months uh, through to, what was it, 11.7 billion as of uh, September, so it's probably stabilised a little bit now here, but it is an important measure for companies in terms of um, how they're perceived by the market, um, how credit worthy they perceive to be and, and how much investment they can actually make in their own businesses. What has changed for you as a result of this drop in the size of the company? Well, we continue to invest and invest aggressively. We expect to add on the order of 800 people through the course of uh, our fiscal year in fiscal 23. And as a business, we're doing just great. The, the, uh, points that are really in our control are our own performance. We continue to operate in the mid 30s percentage growth range of annual recurring revenue on a constant currency basis. We are delivering mid 20s in operating margin and high 20s in free cash flow. So we're operating at what is typically referred to adding free cash flow to ARR growth as about a rule of 60. And that is a very, very strongly performing company with balanced growth. That's the piece that we can control, and that's uh, that's how we're managing the business, top to bottom line.